Catherine is living life to the full. Five years after being told by doctors she had just yes. months to live. So that's good. OK, go. She had an aggressive form of brain cancer, but since having treatment, all trace of the tumour has gone. One of the 5% of super survivors who defy the odds. I've always thought I'm going to live. Um, and I think that's probably why just having that positive mental attitude um, has been really important for me. This is Catherine's original scan from uh, March 2020. Catherine's tumour was eight centimetres across, but five years on, there's just an empty shell. Many cancer specialists have these anecdotal stories of miraculous survival, but scientists are now bringing them together in a global study of people who have lived at least five years, despite being diagnosed with hard-to-treat forms of brain, lung or pancreatic cancer. This is the first time anybody has tried to attempt to answer this question, why there are some selected group of people survive exceptionally well after these dreadful cancers. So we are looking at the genetic makeup of the tumour, we are looking at the, um, are looking at the proteins, so we will have a much larger database to say more confidently that this is what is making you live longer. Eight NHS cancer centres are joining the Rosalind study. It'll compare tumour samples from super survivors with those from patients who've died, looking for targets for new drugs to improve life chances for all. You can have two cancer patients who are superficially similar in age and health with the same type and stage of tumour, but with very different responses to the same treatment. Now, in the past, doctors would put that down to luck. Now they're looking for a more scientific explanation. The study is being run by the French biotech company Cure 51. It believes it can beat cancer in 20 years. This is the ambition of the project. But you know, remember HIV in the beginning of the 80s. Uh, it was a killing disease, no hope for the patients, unfortunately. And now you have patients who can live with HIV. But again, the ambition of the project is really to eradicate cancer. If we can unlock these biological mechanisms uh, that are successfully possessed by these survivors and replicate it to the majority of patients, I think we can, we can really win the battle. Let me just get my oar in. Catherine will soon be invited to join the study. She appreciates each new day and hopes others with her diagnosis might in future have the chance to do the same. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Cambridge.